It's December. I'm just doing the big swap, you know, changing out my tackle and my boat. You know, I was fishing a few times with a buddy in his boat, traveled, so I haven't taken my boat out in a few weeks. And the difference between early November and early December is huge. So I'm taking out topwaters, I'm taking out frogs, you know, all those sorts of things. And I'm bringing in the A-rigs and the cold water crankbaits. And I'm gonna show you nine crankbaits that I love for fishing during the winter. So cranking is one of my favorite ways to catch fish. You know, I've caught my biggest bass ever on it, 9.27 on a deep crank. I've caught sevens and eights. I mean, it seems like if I look back at a lot of my biggest fish, a lot of them came with crankbaits. And I crank all year, but I crank during the winter. And there's a lot of baits that I use from tons of different brands. And I'm gonna show you nine baits that I'm gonna be using that are in my boat. And if there's any more that I am missing, let me know. I'd love to see the comments, I'd like to find new baits, but these are from all different brands. These baits have served me well for years and I'm putting them in my boat right now for the winter. So let's start with one of the best. It is the Rapala DT6. Gotta have the demon color. I love these baits. They have a nice tight wobble. They work great all winter into the spring when you're fishing shallow cranking. Uh, when you're cranking shallow, you know, obviously less than six feet. I like the demon color. I like the red crawfish color. There's so many colors. I have tons of these things. Every time I see them on sale, I buy them because I use them a lot. You know, you're gonna lose some. And unfortunately, those bills break quite often. So I always get as many as I can. Rapala DG6, gotta have those. Next up is a bait that has similar action to the Rapala, but it's more durable. It casts a little bit better, but I think it has a slightly different action that um, can be good at times, but I still like that balsa in some situations. But the bait I'm talking about is the Strike King KVD Flat 1.5. So this will get deeper than the uh, DT6. It's more like the DT8 or DT10 because it will hit that 10 foot zone. But it's a great bait, readily available, very durable, and it catches fish. Okay, since we're still talking about those flat sides, because you know flat sides are huge when the water's cold, you gotta talk about the Berkeley Fritz side. I mean, this has become one of the best crankbaits, one of the most popular crankbaits over the past few years. They, there's a lot of different sizes now. Uh, this is the nine, you know, there's the clicking or clacking version. There's a standard, I mean, there's a lot of things. And uh, I actually wrote an article about the, the design of this, talking to the engineers, and the whole key, what they wanted to do was get a balsa action out of a plastic bait. So they have what's called flash disc technology and they, they kind of figured this out with some trolling lures for walleye, but they put that into this bait. So what that does is it allows the bait to have a great balsa action, but casts very well. So, and, and that's gonna be also more durable. So you gotta talk about the Fritz side. Since we're talking balsa, I still like balsa, even though I use a lot of plastic baits, one of my favorite balsa makers because they're so easy to get and so readily available is PH Customs. So right here, we got Phil's Secret. This actually, this particular bait, you can see I've lost some of the paint. I've caught a lot of smallmouth, uh, mainly in the springtime. You know, I've had to change hooks already on it because I've caught several fish on it. But this has a great action. It'll get down to that 10 to 12 foot zone. Really like this for cold water cranking. That is Phil's Secret. Sticking with balsa, we got the Ima Shaker. This is a great bait that will get down about five, six feet. It has that great flat-sided balsa action. Everything you want from a balsa bait, very unique and readily available, good quality bait. It's the Ima Shaker. Next one, I have a love-hate relationship with this one, the Shad Wrap. Love it because it catches fish. Hate it because it casts like a potato chip. You cast it out there and it swirls all over the place. Even on spinning gear, you cannot cast this thing. It's like not casting at all. And that's because it has, it's made of balsa, which is what makes it so good. It has a very tight action. This is a bait that you need when it's very, very cold. This is the uh, seven size. Some guys like the five. The seven is really my all around favorite crankbait size for the shatter app during the cold months. Switching back to plastic, gotta have some Spro. This is the Little John MD. I love this bait in this particular color. Uh, I think it's this exact same crankbait in my hand. Um, I have a few of them in this color, but I caught a big bass in a tournament on this. It was a six pounder back in Washington. Ever since then, I, I've loved throwing this bait. It casts really well, it's that plastic. It's got a nice, unique, tight wobble. Gotta have these in the cold water. 
Okay, coming down to the final two. And again, these are in no particular order, but you gotta mention the wiggle work anytime you're talking about it. This is an original, the OG, pre-Rapala, everything that you want. I mean, this is probably worth 50 bucks right here. It's been custom painted. I really like this. You know, this particular bait, uh, this color, I had it custom painted several years ago for some spring smallmouth fishing when it was still cold. We called this bait the fish finder because you just cast it out there and you will find fish. It is an awesome bait. What makes the original different than the norm, the new one, it's kind of up for debate, but it's mainly the sound that everyone is liking those old school OG Rapala. It's got the lead balls instead of the stainless steel. It's also a different type of plastic, so it's gonna have a just different sound. So they're really in demand. If you know anything about crankbaits, the OG wiggle wart is a very popular bait. Sorry, I had to wait for the garbage man to go by, but this one is also unique the uh, whole wiggle work family because it has a really kind of erratic hunting action you hear that all the time it's coming and it kind of goes side to side it is very unpredictable but it's really good during the colder months when the fish are eating crawfish got to have the old school wiggle wart or something a wart style bait you know six cents makes one as does spro with the rock crawler i really like the rock crawler out of all the non-original wiggle warts you know, it's a great bait. This one's a little bit deeper diving, but it does everything that you want from a wiggle wart. You know, it's got that hunting action, plus they're a lot easier to get than those old school wiggle warts. So that's nine baits that I'm throwing this winter. I'm gonna catch some fish on these, I know it. Um, if you know of any other ones, let me know. Like I said, I'm a crankbait junkie, always looking for new baits. I'm sure I have a lot of different ones that um, I didn't mention, but these nine for sure stood out as my favorite cold water crankbaits.